And live from the VW Studios here in Los Angeles, California, we are here for a historical night here on VW Worldwide as the VW World Championship is defended for the first time. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I am Downtown Jason Brown here with Hit Kid Worldwide, Zahaya Morgan, Rick C, and Chase Arthurs. Yo! Big fight feel here on Worldwide tonight! As I said, this is a historical night for the VWU and for VWU Worldwide. But if you didn't think VWU Worldwide was a, was a show to watch, then you're going to know it now. Especially big for this man right here, because it is a chance for him to finally back up and to finally lay claim to what he's wanted to be since day one, since stepping into the VWU. And that is to be the man, that is to be the ace. Many people have been claiming that he's already the ace, but to him, for him to claim that, that crown, he has to claim the title. See if he can. It's not gonna be easy, I'll tell you that right now. Not Especially not against the champion. Wanted to become ace of New Japan, he had to defeat Tanahashi tonight. If Sly wants to become the ace of the VWU, he must defeat Malik Brown. There he is, the determination machine, the VWU World Champion, one third of the GWM Trios Champion. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually, he wants it to be referred to as the unofficial VW Six Man Tag Team Titles. Can oh, we get those things? That'd be a, those would be cool ass titles. Can we get those official? But but any but anyways, two members of Unchained, two brothers in arms tonight. Enemy is on the battlefield. And it's really it's really the good case in which you brought up because Malik Brown. When you think of BWU. The first name that pops up is this man right here. He has been leading the charge ever since VW first started, and he will be the he will be the first to enter and the last to leave every single time. However, Sly wants that moniker. He wants that spot that Malik has. But like you said, he's got to go up against the man who holds the belt. But I can promise you, for Sly, it's not going to be an easy task. Send it in ring for the introductions for the Studio U World Title Belt.
is tonight the night Sly finally ascends to ace status here in the VWU or does Sly still have more room to grow before he can take that moniker to become the king you must defeat the man who holds the keys to the kingdom that is Malik Brown and this is a match Sly has been wanting for a very long time not just because it's for the VWU world title not just because it's for ace status wait a minute Jesus Poison Rana. It's this right here is something he's been wanting for a long time because if anything, this is a rematch from DCA. One of Sly's biggest victories ever was against Malik. Sly does have a pinfall victory over Malik Brown. But yeah, hit was back Yeah, I was back at the takedown, like I believe before, before Gateway to Heaven. But yes. here but here's the thing, Sly he he has been iffy on that victory because he has felt that Malik did not give it 100% that night because he was saved with himself for Gateway to Heaven. Which could have always been the case, yes. So Sly has said that victory just feels a little tainted because he wants Malik at 100%. He wants Malik focused. He wants Malik at his best, and Malik, you can't find Malik any better than when he's defending that BWU World Championship. Without a doubt, Malik Brown is always 100%, no, hell, 200% when he's defending the VWU title. When he's fighting for it, wh whether he's the challenger or the champion of time, he gives it all. And, and then some. And also, this is something he's been wanting to get off his chest since February, ever since duality. And him and Claudio were in that triple threat match against Malik Brown, and then, of course, the thing that happened with Brett Haskins, Sai has just, it's, it's irked him ever since. Because it's been that big what if. What if that night I would have beaten Malik Brown? Right. Well, tonight the answer of what if becomes into what happens. He's got his shot right here, right now. Drop kick. Sending Malik into the ropes there, and he's going to set him up for something big here. Neck breaker. Oof. And this is also for him, he says, for. For everyone from the VWU, the DCA, to remember his name. I mean, just look at the path that Sly has gone up into this. But he made it to the finals of the March Madness tournament. He beat Spider-Man back at VWU Prestige. He beat Claudio this year, which not a lot of people have been able to do. He also, so, he also won Most Wanted. Yes. This, all of that has led to this moment, this big one-on-one -on -one contest in which Sly finally proves that he is undoubtedly, without a shadow of a doubt, with the undisputed best of BWU. But for the rolling capo kick, but Sly went for the drop kick to the back. No, Malik Brown. Kettle style back. And he's right. also made it perfectly clear that not only... Oh, Jesus! Atlas of Dragon Suplex. Not only does he want this match, not only does he want to see if he's ready for that moniker, you know, as the ace, he has made it perfectly clear. He's, 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 he, I, he spoke to Dewa before this show. He wants to be on DCA more. He wants to be, he says he, if he's going to be the, the ace, he has to be the man to carry this VW no matter where he goes. Because it's been another thing that's been irking him is the fact that you know he hasn't been, he's only been, he's only been seen twice in DCA, where he believes that's probably going to be top tier, you know, leagues in v, in the VWU. For him to be the ace, he has to be there. I mean that's oh that's good and that's true, but he's got to right now he's got to focus on this match with Malik. Oh God, there's the standing room. Dude, like. In a sense, with, you know, Sly's frustration, it's in a sense what I like to put a case of, you always want to be active, can I be clear? Mm-hmm. Like, y oh wait, what the hell? Southern Light! That is a One, two, no. I, I, going back to my point as Malik is before just dropped Sly on his head and then slid him with a forearm right on the button. No. 
I just yeah. You always want to be active. Can I be clear? Mm -hmm. Whenever you're not active, whenever you're not getting competition, it fucking pisses you off. Cover. It's a superstar. Dude. No. It, no, it, only it. Do you want, not only do you want to be active, you want to be active against the very best, and that's what DCA usually brings in, the very best. Oh, God, virtual wrestling has to offer. It's like it's that shining wizard. Yeah, he's only wrestled twice this year in DCA. Which I'll admit, to me, is kind of a... I, I will say it, Chris, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, seriously, what the fuck? I, I, that, that's a shoot comment, and I don't care if I get fanged. The fuck? Oh. Jesus, I mean, this man has been proven to be one of the most popular guys in DCA. I mean, not DCA, but in the VW itself. This man... I mean, when Pete, when that when that night happened, when he became, you know, even though it was for a short while, when he became the UWL World Champion, that arena erupted. That was both of what happened after. Oh, wait a second, Sly. Oh! oh. oh. Ooh. Thought he was thinking paraglider, but I, I, I hate to uh, bring it, mention this individual, but we talk about the most beloved. If we want to talk about the most hated here, one of the most hated here for a second, that one of the most hated people right now has kind of got a shot at the VW title coming up. He might be the next challenger for whoever wins this. Yes, yeah. and, and 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 no one saw he would want to be the one to fight Lincoln. Exactly. Then, Lincoln then again, though. Jesus! No, oh my God! The rotation boots against so these. Then again, though, we also know John's got a shot. John's so got a shot, Lincoln's got a shot. I'm almost certain somewhere, even at, at, we talk about duality, oh, that Tranquilo, but we talk about duality and what happened there. Claudio probably wants a shot too. Yeah, yeah. Claudio was screwed. You know, and I, I, I want a shot. If, you, if you're not in the PWU to get a world title shot or one of the PWU belts, then there's something not right with you. Can we be clear? And here's something I, I want to say. I want to say, when it comes to these two men right here, you want to talk about the definition of heart and soul of the VWU. It's these two right here. Malik, definitely the soul of VWU. Sly, the heart. Not, I, 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 but here's the thing, and this is something I do want to say about this, although we've got these two as you just said heart. No, it was blocked. Uh, even though you just called these two the heart and soul. Yeah. You think of the roster, you think of this shit, you think of this upcoming wow. year, and, and maybe even into next. One. You've got a bunch of guys. No. Roland Capital Kick only gets a toy. you got a bunch of guys who want to, in a sense, get to that standing. Not just Claudio. Not just Ricky oh. at the table. Jamal Bedwell. We all know he wants to be Fido U World Champion one day. We all know John Blackhorse will have that opportunity. He wants to be, you know, the face of the FWU. Can I be clear? He's got that opportunity at uh, Resurgence? Yeah, it is everyone's long-term end goal to be the FWU World Champion. Look, every, legitimately, I don't think there's a single person. Wait a second. Jeez! And I think Malik has been busted open. Yes, One, yes, two, no. That's definitely he blood. That's not. That's not strawberry end. jelly. That is blood. He was wearing the crimson mask. I mean, everybody wants to be the WWE champion. There's no. There's no doubt about it. The only thing is, the the man holding that belt is literally on the roll of his life right now. He's done everything in his power. Everything, not just for that WWE champion. Going for the cover here off of that standing corkscrew moonsault too. No, not Not just done everything for that VW World Championship, but for VW in general. You have to have that type, kind of commitment if you want to if you want to hold that title. When you represent VW, you represent all of it. Be thick and thin. Yeah. Oh, and that's exactly what Malik has done. And, and that's Three. what and, and that's what Sly wants to do. He wants to be the man. He wants to be the guy who's who's always the first to show up, always yeah. last to leave. Oh shit! Leave. Uh, and and, and, he, and he, so what was interesting? While Sly, you know, demanded this match against me, you mentioned he demanded a you know a fight in DCA. Mm -hmm. 
like, think about it. There's Steve. He, he like, he was like, very clear. He wants the Celestial title over there before he gets, you know, the world title in a sense. Yep. Like a progression. It's like Cooper. Flying yeah. all over the... It's oh. kind of also been confirmed a little bit, but it's like Cooper's got somebody who wants to fight him. I don't know how he wants to fight everyone else. Yeah, you can't move on. No, no. Like should should Sly Cooper win here tonight? But that could get the war. Like Roxy and Ryzen. Well, if we're mentioning people who could, if Sly Cooper was to win tonight and, and be in line for a title shot, think of the CCL Supernova poll for the breakthrough title shot. There is a bunch of hungry challengers for that title. Absolutely. I'm off of it. Moonshot two, no. If I remember correct, we've got all three members of the, well, the former in the LDC. So yes, even I think Brett Haskins is in there, former world champion. Okay. He, he, apparently he's been cleared to return, he just hasn't returned yet. Yeah, you wonder what, you wonder what Malik's so thought about that, by the way. Oh, I don't need to wonder. I was on the commentary desk when all that happened. Let me guess, he lost his shit. Here! Uh, lost his shit is an understatement. One, two, no. Yeah, but you got the other two fuckheads, whose names I won't mention. You've got, you've got... You've got Krim. We all know how hungry Krim is for mm -hmm. title shots. Like doing the intervention. Yeah. Rick as well. Well, Rick's leaving his team. He ain't on that pole, but he's leaving his team. They gotta, keep, they gotta keep me fresh, but once GWM's dealt with, I think yeah. I think I'm yeah. a little bit bigger than the Brick team. Oh, that's fair. You've got. Who else we've got? We've got. We've got. I know Sahaya's gonna hate me for this. Adam Jackpot. You've got uh, Paisley. I think your brother's in that pool too. My brother is in that pool and he is very wanting to win that pool. Wait, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh I'm gonna say. How is that? Jeez! Oh, 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 I'm gonna say to Rick on that is my brother feels it's been a year and a half without a one on one shot. That was where the first Alabama son face pushed off the campus. Or as I call it, the Aldi Papa and, 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 here's another, and here's another thing about this match. It's all about justification for Sly. He fought so hard in that, in that most wanted tournament. Only for him to, you know, be screwed in the end! Vertigo! Vertigo! Yeah. He, he, he has to answer that what if. It, it has to be answered for him tonight. Remember who he beat in that tournament? Do, do you we know? Look at Garni beat, which yeah. is a huge win. He beat the great one as, uh, as, you know, and he beat Spike. He beat Spike. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he beat that fucker. I mean, this guy has, has big wins over former world champions. This man, in, in his right, should, is, this man, you know, Sadly, is a former world champion. He should still be current world champion, but that is what it is for right now. And this man right here, he he, it just feels like every time he climbs to that mountaintop, he gets knocked right back down. In a way, you can almost say, Jesus! He has very similar features to another person who, who's just like that. Knee to the face. Okay, to the midsection, sweeps the right another, nice another, side. Another man who he wants to fight again. I know who you're on about. Many Whoa. people, you could almost consider Sly almost like the UWO variant of, of, of Zack Stone. I, mm. I, and what I mean by that, I mean by the guy who always gets to that top. Always one of the most hard-working guys, but always gets knocked back down because of situations. Well, that is, well, that I, I can agree I, with. I, okay, I, that's, the that's, that's what I'm going on against. I'm not saying they're, they're tick for tack, you know, the same personality and everything. What I'm talking about is their career paths. Yeah, yeah no, I agree with you on that. I'll agree yeah. with you on that. 
Look, I got my own opinions on Zach Stone and the whole yeah, situation. Yeah, I, I have a few opinions as well. But... Right now, oh, wait a minute. What? Wait, what? Caught in the last possible second by Malik. What a quick thinking there from the VW World Champion. Front splash! The point. Cover. One. Two. No. And yeah, the, the thing that pissed. Go on, go on, I was going to say, the point of the matter is he can't be thinking about like the shortcomings right now. This is his biggest opportunity to date. He has to stay on top of, of, of now, right now. He can't be thinking about Ben. He can't be thinking about 20 minutes later. He has to be in the moment right now. I, I do agree with Sahara on that point because, like, let's be honest, everyone's had that in their career. If we're being honest, that just did, you know, something similar to that. That's something similar to everyone. Let's remember what happened in Malik last year, you know, during this world title win, which he almost lost right there. Remember the, remember the Finn Taylor debacle? Yep. Mm -hmm. You remember my like, Finn fucking debacle? What was it, Zaya, wasn't it? Proving it. Proving it. Uh, yes. Finn fucked him up! You destroyed him. That style! A man that he has known for almost his entire career, and he just nearly killed him. Oh my god! Swing and a miss. Oh, what no. Jesus! Jesus. And, then, and then he went through, you know, before that he went through the series with Atlas. And then it was, you know, the issues with, uh, you know, what... what Paraglider! DDT! DDT got it! When Malik won that world title, he kind of found himself again. Get on it. Two. Uh, no. Yes. Nada. You could say the same could happen to Sly Cooper should he win here tonight. Because Sly good. has been through the shit with Ken Kanek, you know, with Kaneki. Mm -hmm. Went through the spell with Ganta, which we all know about on that. And then this year, like, yes, he won the breakthrough title, but then, you know, the hell which has followed up since then. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, he's got him. Up in the air. Oh! No! One, one, two, two no! No! And, and like I said, a lot of this dates back to February. I will keep point bringing that up. Where a lot of this sort of started happening for some. I mean, and, 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 I, and I've, and I've, and Rick's called bullshit on it. I've called bullshit on it. The fact that that whole Xavier Mitchell call that happened you know, was allowed to happen, and no one in VW management was able to overturn that was bullshit. Agreed! Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, and my favorite cats, we will never, ever see fucking Sabian yeah. make it go. Remember the time that yeah. fucking clown, DDT, that fucking clown was fired, wasn't he? Yeah, but somehow, he was able to, he was able to allow Brett Haskins into that match, and if anything, that was just, the fact that they didn't even tell anyone in this match that that happened to me was fucked up. It was one of the biggest lot of bullshits ever. We all fucking stormed out the desk that night. Probably, that prob probably one of the most controversial matches in VWU. Another snapdragon there from Sly, and there's the, uh, there's the springing board Jimmy, uh, Phoenix Splash there he from Sly Cooper. Yeah, I did. Now, a lot of syllables. And Sly has felt that there might be some sort of, you know, wait, wait. Going for Jeez! Oh! Jeez! No, the soul! One, two, no! Not yet. Sorry, that was close. Oh, but now I'm all weak. It's a weak Going to the multi-time NWA World Champion, Jeff Jarrett. And immediately tells him to suck it, just for good measure. Malik! Oh, no! God! Oh. Pop-up kick. Springboard! 
Went for that springboard a one too many times. And now Malik get the hold You know, and Sly has, has also felt that there might be some people in, uh, in management who might not like the idea of a raccoon being the guy to represent BWU. I mean, let's just be honest. There's a lot of people who don't really like the idea of an anthropomorphic being being the lead top guy of any promotion. That's, that's racist. It's 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 very much a stereotype, but you know. Oh my God! Thanks, Krista. Oh, 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 oh. But it wouldn't be Sly Cooper if he was willing to break all barriers possible. I mean, this man, he, he's had glass, he's broken through glass ceiling after glass ceiling after glass ceiling. He is scarred from every glass ceiling he has broken. Absolutely. If I, if I, if I could make the mention of it real quick, I'll let you get your point in here. It's, I don't, I, I, some would say it's not, and this is a guy who, who owns a league like this. Hold on, 20 shot Larry up there by the league. But coming from a guy who owns a league so full of these people, some could say maybe it's not just an ad, like, trying to, they don't want to see a raccoon be the champion. They don't want to see anyone viewed as fiction as the champion. I mean, think about the only, quote, fictional character who's been VW World Champion. And look how that went. Yeah, one and done. I remember. One and done. And we haven't seen a fictional character since then with the VW. No, we have not. And the week is a bloody mess, by the way. At least one from the fantasy side. Yeah, at least one for the fantasy side. What the hell is this? Jeez! Here's my question, though. Who the hell are the people who manage you? Come on. So I got his shot straight away. Yeah. Who are the other fucking names? Well, that was a straight up D-Wall call. I that, that was a D-Wall call, but there is the, still the BW board. I would like the names, to be honest. Look, we're not on the board, so... I know, but still. Getting out of that powerbomb position, didn't Malik? Has it been Tasty for the pictures. That calamity trigger coming out of nowhere, just sending that boot into the spine of Sly. And there's another spear! It's now Malik. Oh, God! But, but like I said, again, this is pretty much just this for Sly to see. Is he ready to take that moniker? Or does he still have, you know, room to grow? Because you know, if, if Malik beats him straight up, no, no, no shenanigans, no, no, no interference, no one getting at it to a damn match that no one knows about. If he, if Malik does that, then Sly knows he still has a lot of work that he needs to do. And no one Sly, he will work harder than anyone else to get to that level. Hands down, probably one of the most hardest working guys in VWU. Well, wait, no. Setting Sly up here, it looks like. A guy who has a similar mindset to, to Malik Brown. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this triangle. Go oh, get the rope. Well, here's the thing. Oh, God. Springboard. Swarm time. And he's not done. Going to oh. that top rope again. No, Sly! Oh, the Now on the ring! Could this do it? Watch the ring! Malik One, Malik two, Malik. no! Here's the thing with Malik Brown. You could bring your 100, but you could be 100%. You could bring your absolute A plus A game, but sometimes Malik, that damn determination is just too much. Both men with that unwilling dying spirit. Oh, but 
what, what, what happens when he meets a man who is, has a very similar mindset? That never say die, that never say quit attitude. I won't, I won't stop until I'm dead in the middle of that ring. It's we are very, seeing, very, we are seeing that right now. It, it, it might just come down to the final blow who could get that, that kill shot in a sense. Whoa. Oh my god! I mean, Malik's been bleeding for a good majority of this contest. Cover off the knee. One, two, no. No, we're gonna... Malik's been bleeding for a majority of this contest, but if you ask him, it only drives him more. That adrenaline rush after seeing his own blood, it fuels Malik even more. Wait a second. Go well through. Jack, no. No. That, that's it. That's it. That's a thing about, you know, alpha male is like a million brown, like a Sly but like a Claudio. That blood d does not slow them down, it, it drives them. I mean, Sly, if you remember back at the original Oblivion, he was in that death match. As soon as he was cut open, it, it, like, he just, it was like a switch that turned on. And he became probably one of the most brutal men that night. Absolutely. Malik being sent to the outside. Sly Cooper, now go Sly's got to get him back in the ring. He's got to capitalize immediately. This is all about justification. This is all about knowing if he's ready. Try to go for the kick. Couldn't get it. There's a dragon screw right there from Malik. Because he would not accept the moniker Ace until he has that title. Whoa! Lands on his feet, gets caught with the form of Calamity Treasure! For the second time! Can I do it? You can hear the war cry from Malik! No! I should be in the corner! Wait. Oh, elbow! What the hell? Oh, Jeez! Beautiful! 619! Around the ring post! And now Sly, duck! And duck! And now Malika, oh, could he be? It could be time. Here it comes, Jaguar. No! What? Into the corner. Sly now, Run. putting the leak. Run on top, run to the top rope. I'm thinking another superplex? Wait, no. Oh God, what the hell? What the Jesus! You draw. And now Sly! Huge Frankenstein off the top. Get on the ring! Stone! Oh. Mitt. Spiral landing but onto the knees. And BAM! Malik is wailing, he's grabbing the ropes! Off the rope. Off the rope. Oh! Oh! oh. Man, put that mask down! Bring his car with the stab dragon! One! Two! Two! No! You can see Malik getting a little bit desperate there. Had to pull but the mask. Had to pull that mask down, but Sly oh. right back on that offense. Oh! Oh, kick the side out. Have somebody on him. Well, Mike is strong. Mike is strong. What? Terrence is in. No. 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 Bam. Both oh, these guys are giving it their all. Yeah. As we pretty much expected them to. Oh! Oh! Bam! Oh! Oh! Get the fucking dead! Oh, he's not done. Oh, he is not done. Oh, oh, Malik's really? got him lined up. He's lined up. Oh! Spittle! 
That is four straight go to hospitals. And Sly could be out. And then Malik be setting up for the for the knee. Sly is slowly getting back to his feet. No! Another spear! But Sly will not stay down! Ah, the termination effect! The termination effect on the jaw. That could do it. One, two. No! Again, what what happens when you, when Malik meets someone who's just as determined as he is? Malik's kind of befuddled at this point. He's hitting every big move, but Sly keeps getting right back up. Uh oh. Jeez. Oh, DDT on the hardest part of the ring. And if that didn't put out Sly Cooper's lights, I don't know what will. No! Oh, wait. Maybe we calling him back to his feet. No, no, no. Oh! Oh, no. Sly still trying to will himself back up. Oh, good lord. Well, we got two overzealous. What is Sly thinking? Sly is on the top rope. Malik still reeling after hitting back first on the family pad at four. Bam! Straight to the bloody head of the determination machine. And oh! And now that double go! Could it get it? Cutter! Breaker, he got a net breaker. Middle rope cutter there Sly. by Sly. From the top! Oh! oh no! Jeez! Got me! Mia! Counter after counter! Wait a minute! Uh oh, he's about to crack! The women no! calamity trigger. Oh my god! He reversed the crack the safe into the calamity trigger. Off the rope. Wait. Oh god! So I trying to make a good night of nights. That's counted. Oh, it's too tight. Oh no, not a sunlight. I don't know how many times Sly can just land on top of his head and be okay. No! no! Sly blocked the final arm! That might have been the that might be the mistake that cost Sly this match. Seven up for it. Jag, no! 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 Get, get it! Jump! Here we go! No! Oh. Wait a minute! Pass him! One! One. Two! No! no. I didn't get it. No. Oh, man. Pulling out whatever they got left. Keep up! Bam! Anything left that's in the tank. Anything left that's in their arsenal. They are spilling out in the middle of this ring. But how much more do Iron Man have left? 
Sly perched on the top rope. Oh, oh no. no. Off the shoulder. Transition. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Oh, no. oh, no, 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 no. I know he said up. No, 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 no. Phoenix Flex. One, two, no. no. Are you all set up, bro? Kick that in that bridge! Powerbomb! No! What the? Bam! Kick it! Kick it! Gotta put it away! Paraglider! CDT! No! Go, go, go! Slide! Slide! Is he gonna do it? No! This is his moment! This is his moment! Spot no! Duh! One, two, three. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! My that right there. I don't care what you all say. That right there was the hardest fought defense for Malik Brown in his entire reign. That was it. You want to talk about a last-ditch effort? It doesn't get any more close than it was for Malik Brown in those last few seconds. Holy shit! He had to pull it out. He had to wait for that moment. But Sly, he fought tooth and nail. He gave Malik probably the hardest defense he has ever had in any of his reigns. I don't think there's a probably about it, at least in my eyes. Was, not. And with, with someone who was on his level, but here tonight, Sly Cooper, I mean, Sly Cooper went 200%, but Malik Brown went 201%. So it, it's just, uh, you can't get any closer than what Sly just gave there. I mean, he was on top of it. He didn't make, he rarely made any mistakes. Any mistake he did make up for, look at this. Tornado oh, kick. Tornado kick. I was on the button. Immediately. Paraglider DDT's in. And I thought it was over right then and there. I thought he had him perfectly set up. Malik was not on his feet, and but still what well, still Malik. Maybe his last action, maybe his last chance. And he hit the home run with the jet coming. Desperation Jaguar knee, and that's what it was. It was, was, it was a thing. desperation Hail Mary, and it paid off. It paid off. Malik Brown escaping here with the DW World Championship by the skin of his own teeth, but I swear to God, if we get this again, he's got to come more yep. prepared. He was seconds away from losing that World Championship. Oh, the you know Malik, he will come more prepared. That's the thing about Malik Brown. Well, here's the thing. I think next time, it might be a different story. Because Sly will use this. He will learn from this. And he'll come back better than ever.